Shalom. All praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'asham, Racha, Akwadash, and the honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Midstone, peace and salutations to the elect. I'm your brother, Mark, all the Great Midstone, Jamaica camp. With another lesson here to feed the potential electric spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Shai, hoping that this, this is an edifying one. And basically, I'm just flowing off the top of my, my brain and the spirit. You know, thinking about the scriptures, thinking about the kingdom of heaven, you know, thinking about the time of Jacob's trouble, thinking about, you know, this world going down. See, so, you know, we have this do, do what do will, this Alistair Crowley philosophy being pushed here. You see, among the heathens, they can push that, but among Jake, we were not commanded to be that we are to live that way in any way, shape, or form. So therefore, heavy judgment is going to come forth upon our people because we have disregarded the covenant that was made to our four parents, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and was given to Israel by Allah, by the mediator, Moses, that we should keep these commandments and be blessed above all nations of the earth, which we didn't. So therefore, we are cursed, more cursed than them. To the point that we don't even know who we are as a people anymore. And that's the reason why the devil of Father sent forth his son, Yahweh Shai, 2,000 plus years ago, to shed his blood <clears throat> to bring us back to him being the sons of Yahweh. And rightly so, you know, we, we labor. Uh, we try to do this labor of love constantly to be on the good graces of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because without them we are nothing. And this world will soon understand and perfectly know that without Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai you are nothing. You know? <clears throat> now, if any man believe contrary, then you are in for a rude awakening. Very, 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 very very soon and this world that we're living in is about to come to an end this kingdom this age this empire normally when the ignorant of all people hear that the world is coming to an end they, they think that it's speaking of the entire planet which it's not the entire planet because if you if you had followed the scriptures man let, 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 let's, let's just get that let's get uh ecclesiastes one verse four it says one generation passes away and another generation coming but the earth abided forever so the word <clears throat> that the scripture say would pass away is not the earth so let's get to matthew chapter where am i going matthew chapter 24 verse uh let's start at verse one and yahweh shy Right? Went out. Now, Yahweh Shai being the son of the Most High, whom the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. That's his Hebrew name. And Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things, verily I say unto you, they shall not be left here one stone upon another, and another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So we're going to look up the word world here. Right? World from G165. Aeon. Right? Aeon. It says forever and unbroken age. Right? Pre <clears throat> perpetuity of time eternity so so in other words uh, aeon it, it, it's, it's it's a time span right is is a it's like an uninterrupted rule it says the world the universe period of time age right let's see the origin right a from perpetual perpetually incessantly Invariable at any and every time when according to the circumstances something is or ought to be done again. So so basically 
uh, 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 Aon, the, word, the Greek word there is Aon, is speaking of a, 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 a end of an age, an end of a time, an end of a rulership, man. <laughs> and that rulership is whose rulership based off the scriptures. The rulership that we're living in now, which is the second leg of the Roman Empire, Rome all over. And, and, and um, as I was making mention, that this rulership, you see this philosophy here, do what thou will, this is the is this this is like that like is spine for the people of this world but you know <coughs> <coughs> but little did they know that they they have been deceived by the devil that rule at this kingdom because even in this whole pandemic era that we're living in right now you would know that this do as the will philosophy it's not as powerful as it used to be for everything because you know I thought there was freedom of speech and freedom of expression and freedom for this and freedom for that. And you can see that these things are gradually being cut right out the the, 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 the pie as we're speaking. So we know for a fact, <clears throat> like literally we know that this 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 is the hen man. This is the hen. And that's the reason why when we consult the book of first John fifth um, two verse fifteen it says love not the world neither the things that are in the world for it says if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh and the and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world see we know that gay pride is heavy through this world and pride in general you know i, I remember a couple of years back I see this this man but he is not so caught up to status quo today's standard according to how women would want to see how men supposed to look because he's a he's an elderly person he was calling was saying hello sister he was calling her calling name and then he saw that it, it wasn't the person that he thought it to be and he was saying sorry sorry I thought it was my niece and she was all puffed up in pride so, like she was disgust who is this like in, 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 in her in her action she was like who is this fool trying to talk to me like, like you know stuff like that so and i was there looking at her like shit the most i can't send a car to just run over that bitch man seeing that was my expression because see pride as it as it is written in the holy scriptures man pride wasn't made for man and that's what this world that's what this world after offer or that's what this world pushes man pride and and that's gonna be the downfall of the majority of who is dwelling in the earth today right verse 17 it says and the world pass it away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai abideth forever you hear that and in the kingdom the ones out of uh, the ones of us that die and gonna come back in the kingdom we're gonna abide forever see because this wisdom is more precious than any other thing to be desired man because with this wisdom you will get all things an immortal body you're gonna get uh um, everlasting life all the riches you know perfect wise perfect children everything in its perfection so that's when we go to the book of uh wisdom of solomon chapter i think it's chapter 9 verse let's jump around a bit verse 5 it says for I, thy servant, and this is this is Solomon speaking, right? Which, if you if you have an ears to hear, this is our Lord in the reincarnation, really, right? Solomon, the son of David, which is the son of God, <laughs> really. So, right? So, it says, "For I, thy servant and son of thine and maid, am a feeble person, and of a short time, and too young for the understanding." of judgment and laws it says for though a man be never so perfect among the children of men yet if thy wisdom be not with him he shall be nothing regarded and even among the brotherhood we find out that see when when we accumulate these this this um beautiful wisdom and and this knowledge and understanding it's not pride but you see you can see the contrary in other words you're, you're you're better than them but it's not pride 
you don't walk proudfully because you try to walk in the statutes and judgments of the Lord. But you can see the contrary. And it's the same thing with the rulers of the society, these dark rulers, the elites, the wicked elites of the society. Right? They have, they have not this wisdom abiding, abiding them. You know, in the scriptures it says the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. And what they push is pure evil and wickedness. So they have not this wisdom. And you can see the contrary. Look at how the earth is being run now. See, the people, our people lack faith. And we know that without faith it is impossible to please Yahweh Bashami Shai. And that's what's going to deliver the elect faith in Yahweh Bashami Shai. You know? <clears throat> Bear with me. My allergies are killing me. Um, let me just jump to verse 15 for the inches of time because as you can see my battery is going to die and I would really want this to be uploaded. Uh, let me just jump to verse 13. It says, For what man is he that can know the counsel of the Most High? Or who can think what the will of the Lord is? For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable and our devices are but uncertain. We're living in the flesh. We're living in the flesh. We're mortal men. And we're miserable as hell. When, when you go to... Uh, let me just get that quick and fast. Let's go to the book of Job. Chapter 14. Verse 1. It says, Man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. So you have to be born again by what? The Spirit. You know, you have to be born again by the Spirit, the word of your Abba Shai. And that's what's going to lead us on to perfection because we are on this road now, on to perfection, man. And it's not, it's not an easy road, but it's, it's the best road to be on, really. You know, it's, it's the best road because this world has nothing to offer but pain and sorrows and tears and heartaches, man. Right? So let's go back to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, verse 13. It says, For what man is he that can know the counsel of the Most High, or who can think what the will of the Lord is? For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable, and our devices are but uncertain. For the corruptible body press it down the soul. Yeah? Because there's a constant, the Apostle Paul speak about it, there's a constant war in our members, man. He says, And the earthly tabernacle weighed down the mind, but <coughs> Slack, yeah? Man, my allergies are killing me and it's raining as hell. It says <coughs> it says for the corruptible body press it down the soul and the earthly tabernacle weight down the mind, but <coughs> muse it upon many things. Right? It says, and hardly do we guess aright at things that are upon the earth and cause see the programming of the society is, is pure wickedness, man. See? So that, that, that's the new norm. <laughs> really, wickedness. That's, well, that's the norm. It's not new, but that's the norm. Really. So, that was, that's what the flesh going to be lusting to do, you know? It says, And hardly do we guess aright at things that are upon earth, and with labor do we find the things that are before us, but the things that are in heaven... Who had searched out? Seeing and thy counsel, who are known except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above? For so the ways of them which live on the earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, and were saved through wisdom. And that's it. The wisdom and the knowledge that we have here, that's what's going to lead us to the, to, to, to the kingdom and to the victory, man. Seeing because it was a point in time that we, we had it not, you know, we had it not, and <coughs> and because we had it not, it was a it was a major prom problem unto our people. Like seriously, it was a it, it was a major prob um, problem because we were out there eating pork, eating shrimp, committing idolatry, um, <coughs> adultery, you know, th these vile acts, filthy acts. You know, thinking that we were actually um, right doing it. Because all of us used to walk after the imagination of our evil hearts. Thinking that the Heavenly Father and His Son was what we think they were in our own mind. Until when we got offended spiritually and repented and, and, and um, came to the, to, the, to the gospel of this ministry. You know, 
and we, we, we repented and started to walk the walk and talk the talk and that's where we change our life so therefore second Ezra 6 verse 28 it says as for faith it shall flourish corruption shall be overcome and the truth which had been so long without fruit shall be declared and this is it brothers this is it we're witnessing right before our eyes the truth has already been declared why you think that you have camps risen up all over the earth why you think that these prophecies are speeding up the reason why these prophecies are speeding up is because we are prophesying of it into being literally see the heavenly father is sending down his spirit more and more so often upon his men to work even harder to 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 to, to bring this to pass see so that the, so that so that is his um elect can be sealed for lack of a better term you know well that's it that's the right term you know so we're prophesying we're prophesying these things into real life it, it is already done already you know but we're just speaking it and the heavenly father is doing it the heavenly father put the spirit upon us to speak it so he can get it done yeah because that's that's his him uh, verse 29 says and, and when we talk with and when he talk with me behold i look by little and little upon him before whom i stood and these words said he unto me i am come to show thee the times of the night to come if thou wilt pray yet more and for seven days again i shall tell thee greater things by day than i have heard but well, anyway i think that this is we are want to end this lesson our praises go run and us the our basham yahushai shalom